Hello and welcome to the Rod Review. Today we will be looking at issue 1 of the cyberpunk comic Mulan Revelations. The series was created by Robert Alter, written by Mark Andreco, drawn by Mika Kaneshiro, and lettered by Nate Pikos. It was first published by Dark Horse back in 2015. The story takes place in the city of 2120's Shanghai. As the deadly TRV virus rages across the world, pharma giant Sinotech is struggling to find a cure and finds it in the blood of our heroine Mulan. With her secret revealed, the company unleashes their security forces to capture her. It's a sound enough plot, but as we'll get into later, it races through scenes rather than developing the ideas it is trying to convey in them. Mulan is a solid main character. She has some understanding of media and business and how they screw people over, and yet she manages to balance her wealth with helping others. Unfortunately, the other characters are not given enough development to be noteworthy. And similarly, the art is good, but there aren't any particularly beautiful panels that you'd want to hang on the walls. The only time we really get to be immersed in the scene and feel any connection to the reality being presented is in Milan's apartment as she's getting ready to go to her brother's party. The news being read in the background lets us know what is going on, her response to it gives us a peek into her beliefs and character, and the process for dressing for an occasion helps to earth the scene. Sadly, the others feel too utilitarian as though they are just there to move the plot along, and not enough time is spent on attaching the reader to the events, characters, and places in those scenes. To fix this, the issue would need to either be twice as long, or only have half the number of scenes in it. But, I guess the creative team either lacked the money to hire the artist for the length of time needed, or they had a deadline to meet. I bought this issue during a Dark Horse sale in the hope that it would provide a window into some Chinese culture. Unfortunately it never did. It's a shame as there's nothing that's really wrong with the comic, hopefully later issues will slow down the pacing and immerse the audience more in their world. As mentioned, this issue was picked up during a sale, and if you're interested in buying a copy I suggest you wait till it's next on sale before getting it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Citations and links to the sources used can be found down in the description. As with all YouTube videos, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. So until next time, have a good evening.